Winona's Minnesota Marine Art Museum showcases art inspired by water. News 19's Crystal Flintrop shares how one exhibit is highlighting artists not typically celebrated, all while reframing how we view our history. Typically white male artists created these beautiful images of the American landscape in the mid 19th century, but they weren't the only ones telling that story. An exhibit at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum, Reframing the View, 19th Century American Landscapes, explores the stories that aren't typically told. So while we feature a lot of those artists here in this exhibition, we also are looking at um, how other artists that didn't have the opportunities that some of these artists had, how they depicted the landscape in their work, um, particularly women and indigenous people. While women could create a painting, attending schooling for it, or simply being outdoors to capture a scene was considered a masculine pursuit. So 19th century women turned to other mediums of art. But also things like photography and needlepoint, um, things like wedding braces, suspenders that a woman made for someone's wedding, or a bandbox hand-painted so they can decorate, you know, kind of household objects. It's those everyday objects that women had their chance to get their hands on to create art. Naomi Slip, the chief curator with the New Bedford Whaling Museum in Massachusetts, put together this exhibit. She says, beyond showcasing how integrated landscape art was in people's lives, it's a chance to look beyond the picture. We're thinking as well about the environmental impacts on, on the development of land uh, in the 19th century. And then through that, thinking about um, Native and Indigenous uh, land rights and politics in the 19th century. Slip says as people view this exhibit, she hopes it complicates their view of landscape and inspires the viewer to think more deeply about these subjects and the landscapes around them. I do think that landscape, access to landscape, our ability to be able to feel comfortable in different spaces is conditioned by privilege in lots of different forms. And, and so when we are outside, that landscape is being shaped by lots of different forces from the parks that are created for our enjoyment to the kinds of social messaging that we get about whether or not that's a space for us. Reframing the 19th century landscape in Winona, I'm Crystal Flintrop, News 19. The reframing the view exhibit in Winona uh, goes until August 4th, and then the pieces of art will go back to their respective owners. That museum is open every day, 10 to 5, well, closed on Mondays.